and welcome everybody to the world famous TJ Ribs on Acadian and I-10, home of the best ribs in the world. We're here for the first overtime TV series show of the fall with the man, athletic director Roman Banks. My man, Chris Powell. We're back in the house man? again. What say, Jay? What fans? Yes, indeed. Oh, how proud were we? When the Jaguar Nation showed up at McNeese State, was that a big crowd or what? Oh, yeah, we took over the stadium. I, I, you know, they say it was 16,000. It was, it was 16, we had 10,000. <laughs> I said it all the That's time. That's exactly so. right. And it's so good to be back here at TJ Ribs, home of the Shrimp Tastic for 1999. But oh, nobody yeah. can beat their ribs. I had a new restaurant tell me, hey, we tried new ribs. You want to try it out? I tried them. Oh my God, they were horrible. I'm like, I want my TJ ribs. So I told, I told them that's what you're getting today. I need comfort food. I need my TJ ribs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need my ribs. Bring me my ribs, baby. All right. So we got so much going on. It all starts, of course, this weekend. The Pete Richardson Classic. Five games have been played in the Pete Richardson Classic since 2018. We're four and one as a football team. Can't wait. AW Mumford Stadium, 6 p.m. kickoff. Coach, it's gonna be a fun time. Gonna be a fun time. I'm always excited about. Whenever we come back and, and play in this P. Richardson Classic because it symbolized something unique and something special. Uh, we have a legend within our midst, uh, Coach Rich, and we want to make sure that when we play that game that we recognize him for all he's done for Southern University. And so it's going to be a sight in time. I don't think we played Savannah State in quite some time. We ain't played them ever. And so we haven't played them ever, right? And so they used to be in the MEAC That's and they right. moved around a little bit. And so we're excited to be able to bring them to this campus and uh, we're excited to see the Jaguars at home. That's right. And I'll tell you what, the only thing better than my seat is the new S-Club seat. Oh, awesome. Fantastic. Over there in the south end zone? Yeah. I just left out of there, right? So yeah. we've been getting everything straight, getting it looking good. And first of all, let me give a shout-out to the S-Club members and to Phil Smith, who was over that project. I don't know if he's in here right now. Give him a hand. Give, give S-Club a hand. They do a lot of work for something. Yeah, and so that facility, check this out, is all money raised. Right, we raised every dime to create that facility. And so it's halfway sold out, and we need to sell about 75 more seats, and we'll be done, and it'll pay for itself. Eventually, it's a, it's a first class experience. And so you're right there on the field, you can hear everything, then you can go in and dine and have a good time. And so uh, we're excited about bringing that new uh, facility to our campus. Air conditioned, food and drinks. All above. And then oh, you, what? hey, unlike the other suites, you can hear the band. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You'll be able to be, you almost catch yeah. a pass. I mean, you right, right there. there on the track. Uh, if you go in that's there and right. sit there, you're right there on the track. So go get those tickets. We, yep. we have started selling game day tickets today. Uh, you can go online to uh, gojaguarsports.com and be able to purchase those tickets as well. How about the volleyball game? Volleyball game already uh, played four games, showing signs of improvement big time. So that's a lot of fun right there in Clifford Seymour Gymnasium. Oh, yeah. We were there Sunday, and uh, obviously they've been playing uh, pretty good uh, volleyball. Uh, it's a new coach in town. Coach Dunn is doing a very good job with our team. Uh, a lot of new parts. We went into the transfer portal and, and got some student athletes. And uh, I think that we're going to be able to compete well in the conference. No question about that. And, of course, they've got some things coming up. Uh, the FAMU Invitational, uh, that's going to be at 10 a.m. Jacksonville coming in, 3.30, and then New Orleans on September the 7th. Battle for the boot, Ruston, Louisiana versus uh, southeastern Louisiana, right. 12 noon, Northwestern State at 3 p.m. Uh, and then we've got uh, on uh, September 14th, Louisiana Tech at 2.30, and then we're at Nichols on the 17th. So, some good action. If you've been to a volleyball game, you're going to love it. How about Jeremy Futno and the soccer Soccer, program? just getting started there. Jeremy's really been on the road, and uh, we're excited. He'll be coming home Friday. That's right. And uh, so they'll be home Friday and Saturday. And so I'm, I'm begging and asking everyone that's going to be on that campus Friday, hanging out in the RVs, take a walk right over to Mumford Stadium, go inside and support the, the ladies. They play a very good brand of soccer. Uh, we was right there for the championship last year, and uh, I, we want to reward them by showing up and uh, being able to cheer them to victory. So uh, stay tuned to that. They play at home Friday and Saturday. That's right, 6 p.m. Uh, against Louisiana Christian. And Friday and Sunday, Sunday, I'm sorry. Sunday, Troy at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. against Troy at a a a w the comfort of A.W. Mumford Stadium. We haven't, and, and we haven't been able to be there uh, right now. We've been on the road, and, you know, uh, a lot of times at all level, you're often on the road a period of time before you come home. And so it feels good to come home for someone to cheer for you, and, and you're in the friendly confines of your own fans. And so I think it would make a difference, in, uh, and I'm excited for the ladies. And they're looking forward to coming home and representing us well. 
No question about that. We've got Tremaine White coming up next. Cross country going to be at LSU at 8 a.m. That is on September 13th. Coach White is uh, we're talking about all the time, and, uh, you know, I think he's knocking on door championships, and uh, he has some additions I'm sure he's going to talk about uh, that we're excited about once again. And he was able to go into the transfer portal, and he has some good student athletes coming back. And so I'll be honest with you, I, I think with our coaches, and I was saying this earlier, we had a head coaches meeting. With our coaches and the experience that they are bringing back, uh, I'm expecting some excitement for all clubs this year. And we got a block party at 1 o'clock coming up on Saturday at the football game, right? Oh, yeah, no question about it. So y'all know about 2 or 3 o'clock the stage light up, and uh, we got a great band going to be on the stage at 3 o'clock just before the game. Mm. So I think, uh, you know, the Grays edition, they'll be taking a walk about 3 o'clock, 3.15, and right after that we'll have University Language coming on the stage to crank us up and march us right into the stadium when the doors open. All right, coming up next, we're talking cross country. Coach White is in the house. We'll talk next as we continue. It's the Overtime Show we right a, here. You got a full show today, full huh? Full show. We added, had to add another segment and everything. We got that's a lot it, going on in Jaguar Lane. It's today. Let's go. Athletic Director Roman Banks. I'm Chris Powers. This is TJ Ribs. Back in a moment right here on Pelican Sports TV. Let's go, Jaguars. <laughs> We're a nation of hardworking Americans, and businesses will always be the lifeline of this great country. As a business owner, you understand the importance of your reputation. In times of uncertainty, you need a real lawyer who's serious about protecting you and your business. You need a problem solver. You need the law firm of Clayton & Fruget. Tony Clayton is a proven trial lawyer. He'll defend you and your business to the fullest extent of the law. Protect your investment and call the law firm of Clayton & Fruget today. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score. Because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers. Craveable cane sauce, crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. Official chicken of Southern University. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. T.J. Rips right here on KD910. This is the Overtime Show with Athletic Director Robert Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics. I'm Chris Powers, my man right here, Coach Jermaine White. How you doing, Coach? How you doing, Mr. Powers? Uh, we making it, my friend. We making it. Cross country is already here. Just seemed like you got finished uh, just uh, last, uh, well, summer, spring, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's always summer here in Louisiana. <laughs> we, we always rolling. Always going. What's the expectations you have for this season? I have big expectations for the season. I, I know Coach Banks spoke about it earlier, but, uh, you know, we won a championship. Right. That, that's what we have to. We have the championships. Yep. Championship, that's what it is. You want the not oh, you want it for the players. Yes. You want them because they work so hard. They, they sweat and all that. You want it for the players. Talk about some of the returners that are coming back here for the cross country. Um, we got Marciano. He's, he's actually coming back. Um, he won. He actually won uh, the 800 for us at the, the championship for for track. But he's gonna come back for uh, cross country also. We have um, Camille Lewis that's back. She's been doing pretty well for us. She was uh, top five in the swag last year in cross country, and uh, we got a lot of new people that's gonna be pretty good for us too. Cool deal. So uh, we actually brought in uh, four international kids this year. Wow. And in uh, cross country was you know, which was a much needed area that we need to approach. Right. What about Transfer portal? Did you go deep into that or no? We got to go deep in the transfer uh, portal. Now. Yeah, I that's, mean, what, that's the new day and age. That's what it is. Uh, I mean, but but at the end of the day, we mix in some young kids in that too, and mix it in with some older kids from the transfer portal and get it going for us. So talk about the first meet, uh, the Battle of New Orleans, Tulane. What well, was that? It was hot. Yeah. It was hot. We was right on the lake front. It's early. Uh, when we first start with uh, cross country during the year, we we start out with some short races. So we had a short race this weekend, then as the fall go, we will go into longer races. But uh, it was real hot, so, uh, you know, the kids had to get adjusted to it because we was right off the water, so all that humidity coming off the water, it was, it was, it was a challenge for them. Uh, but uh, there, it must need a challenge because you just never know what type of weather you're going to get moving down the stretch. Cool. Next Friday, you're going to be at LSU at 8 a.m.? We're going to be at LSU next Friday at 8 a.m. Uh, pretty excited for that one. 
they actually moved the uh, they actually moved the course. It was at University Club last year, so we're going to be near uh, the Agricultural Center. They're going to have oh, a wow. course over there, kind of near the levee. So uh, that's going to be pretty exciting because it's a new place, and you know, you're going to get it ready to go out there and run. All right, Coach, and they can go see the schedule at uh, GoJackSports.com? GoJackSports.com. So, uh, we, you know, next week we're moving to going to LSU. We're going to take a week off. Then we're going to go down to Bayou to Nickel State. Then we're going to take another week off. We're going go to go head down to Louisiana Tech and take a week off, and we're going to head down to Conference. All right, man. Mm -hmm. Like a big-time Cajun, he's talking like that, Sha. <laughs> I, I love that. I'm telling you, he's my cousin, and he don't know yeah. it yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my man. Yeah, but uh, we excited for the year. I'm, I'm excited to see the kids to come out and compete in it this year and everything like that, so uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. Coach, as always, my brother. All right. Good to see you, Coach. Yeah, good to coach see you, Jermaine too. Coach White, one of the best guys. He's an unbelievable guy. <laughs> Uh, he's he, he he so much treats his kids like I mean his student athletes like his own kids and yes. I, I love that all of the southern coaches do that and it's just great to see that all right we come back we're talking soccer can you still play soccer look I can play a little soccer I can go out there with Coach Fadino and, and you know help him out a little bit right. I think I can really? get out there, I can get on out there and play some soccer I can play a little too and I'm talking one tenth of a second <laughs> look, look, that's well, it I, I think I can go for a good ten minutes ten minutes I can go ten minutes. Man, uh-oh, that wears me down just watching him walk, run up and down the field. All right, when we come back, we're talking soccer right here with uh, Coach Jeremy Fontenot. When we come back, it's the Overtime Series show with Athletic Director Roman Banks and, of course, my man, Coach White, right here and all of us. I'm Chris Powers. Back in a moment right here on Pelican Sports TV. Legendary Import Group, exceptional service and a rare collection, you'll discover the only distinctive auto for the legend in you. We, we are, are legendary. legendary. I am legendary. I'm team legendary. I am legendary. I am legendary. Now that's legendary. Stop by Legendary Import Group today where our team is honored to serve you. We are legendary. Legendary Import Group, the only place for legendary care. to try it first. Yeah. Athletic Director Roman Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics. Right now, we bring on the man, the head coach of the uh, Southern University soccer team, Jeremy Fundo. How you doing, Coach? Oh, doing great. How y'all doing today? Doing great, my man. Good, doing good, great. Good. Well, the season, uh, we're here, man, already, uh, huh? I think we passed here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired now. <laughs> I'm tired already. Yes, yes indeed. Sir. we got some big games coming up this uh, Friday and Sunday. Uh, Louisiana Christian on Friday. Uh, right, tell us about right. what your expectations is for that game. Um, I'm just happy to be at home, to tell you the truth. Uh, we've been having home games, but we've been, we feel like we've been on the road so, so much. Uh, we haven't even had a real week of practice um, outside when the season started. So this week is our first week. I told the young ladies we're able to rest. We, we're able to get that, uh, get in school comfortable and everything. So. I'm just happy to be at home, but I expect us to come out real strong this this week right here, being at home, being that uh, football is at home and things like that. So we'll have fans, we'll have, um, I, I call it company and everything. We'll have, we have people there, so I'm excited. That's right. So if you, again, for all the RVs and the, the tailgaters, what have you, get there on Friday, make your way on over to A.W. Mumford Stadium, and mm -hmm. then on Sunday before you head out and go back home, They've got another game against Troy right there. At Troy, yes, yeah, that's a that's a, another game. I think right there, is it's not necessarily a conference game, but it's one of those teams that prepare us for a conference, right? And everything that that'll play 
and one of those top teams that we play, like a Grambling and Jackson. So it's going to be physical. It's going to be fast-paced. So I expect our young ladies to come out excited and ready to play after that game too. Tell your thoughts on coming for the returning players. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, we had a big returning class. Uh, we coming out with nine seniors this year. So wow. I expect a lot. Uh, we've been changing up different formations, trying to figure each other out and things like that. So I expect us, uh, once we start to get our groove in, I expect a lot from them. And talk about uh, new players that are coming here to Southern University uh, for soccer. Uh, we, had, we have a few transfers coming in, but I'm excited about my freshman class. Uh, they coming in, uh, coming to preseason. Some of them been starting, some of them been coming in and getting a lot of minutes. So I expect a lot from them in the conference. But my um, new players as uh, transfers, uh, Anae Roberts, I think she's going to be great once she get, get into that groove. And Alyssa Romero, she already starting to um, bring that leadership in. Already conference starts October 4th on a Friday Correct. against the Alabama State and then Alabama A&M on that Sunday. So you got the Alabama 2 uh, screen coming Correct. in. And the good thing about that, we get a couple buys before that. Uh, where if we do have any nicks and nags, we're able to get get back into that, getting that groove right there. So hopefully it, it helps us out by getting that energy, finding that uh, rhythm, whatever we didn't have in non-conference, we're able to bring it into a conference. No question about that. It's fun to watch it. Go and sit in the comfort of A.W. Mumford Stadium. Concession stands, also bathrooms, mm -hmm. plenty right there. Uh, see it. It's a fast track, yes, uh, big time because it's uh, synthetic turf. And you're going to have a lot of fun again this Friday right there uh, at uh, A.W. Mumford Stadium. Uh, just like I said, if you're doing the tailgating, come on over there and have yourself a fun time doing that. Uh, it's a 6 p.m. game. Troy State's at 1 p.m. right in the middle of that day. One <laughs> but are we supposed to have a little cool front coming in this weekend, I think? A little Maybe a little we, thin air? We do. We do. Yeah, so that'll be good. So that'll be good for us. right? Like I said, I admire y'all because I played all the sports, but <laughs> I didn't play soccer. To watch y'all going up and down that, that – Man, me and uh, a football coach one time saw y'all running up and down at a soccer game we went to, and they go like, man, they wearing us football guys out, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got to be in massive shape to do that. But, Coach, good luck this season, and we uh, know that, that you're going to bring home uh, some great expectations for Southern. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, Coach Jeremy Fontenot right here, head soccer coach for Southern University. Back in a moment right here, visit Baton Rouge is in the house. We'll talk about that right after this timeout on the Southern University uh, right here at uh, P Pelican Sports. The birth of legends are storied in this conference. We must never forget our rich history. We now turn our gaze to the future. The new legends will emerge. New heroes to arise. The Southwestern Athletic Conference be our history. Baton Rouge Primary Care Collaborative, a name with a big mission. Providing high quality health care to our entire community, regardless of your ability to pay. We provide primary care services for adults and children with expanded services such as radiology, podiatry, ophthalmology, and on-site lab and pharmacy services. And our new location on Plank Road is open and ready to serve you. Call today, same day appointments, and walk-ins welcome. We are Baton Rouge Primary Care Collaborative. I can't imagine a day without music. You go downtown, you can find some music. You come uptown, you can find some music. Monday night, they got music. Every night of the week, there's music somewhere. Baton Rouge is a place where it's easy to make friends, it's easy to hear some music, and it's easy to come back. We got the music, we got the food, and we got good people. So with that combination, you can't lose, right? You ever come to lose it, Welcome back, everybody. Right here, it is, of course, the one and only overtime show with Athletic Director Roman Banks. Of course, we're looking at uh, Jaguar Athletics. I'm Chris Bowers. We cannot do uh, the sports and putting on this show and all of the things we do great at Southern University Athletics without great sponsorships. 
That's why we've got visitbatrouge.com is here with us in the house. Jason Sude, how you doing, my man? Doing great. Great to be here. Second so year, huh? This is uh, my second year at Visit Baton Rouge, so uh, we're getting settled in and a lot of fun stuff going on, and uh, we're, uh, we're, we're proud to be a part of it here with Southern. Well, happy to you're a part of it. All of these people are sports people, uh, whether they're football fans, basketball fans, baseball, volleyball, soccer, what have you. Uh, so we know a lot about sports. In Baton Rouge in 2024, 92 athletic events coming to the Baton Rouge area, and that's something that you're going to help promote and bring here at VisitBatonRouge.com. That's an f- academic a- impact of $51 million. Yeah, it's uh, big for our, uh, for our city. That's, that's tax revenue that goes back to our quality of life and helping it. You know, the, the sports tourism industry is $128 billion in, in the United States. Wow. Like in the you know U.S. total, so right. it's a big number, and, and 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 hopefully we can keep growing that here. We got some opportunities coming up uh, through stuff we're working on, some different events we're trying to get here, professional youth events, everything, uh, and that's just more people coming in town, more people spending money in our restaurants and our retail, right, and uh, and checking out Baton Rouge and, and seeing what we have to offer. So and you know I like to be I like the staycation kind of a thing. Yeah. So there's plenty. So we need to, if you go to visitbatonrouge.com, you'll see there's things to do here in Baton Rouge. Yeah, I was just actually looking it over, over at the table, and I think there was like five or six things on the schedule just for today. Wow. So, you know, if you're coming in town, if you're coming in town for a game, always go to the, our website, visitbatonrouge.com. You can see the events going on. I mean, around here we celebrate everything, right? Right. So there's always something going on. So right. check it out when you're coming into town. Uh, and take advantage of these things that are going on and take in the culture that we have. So do you, uh, do you go out and, and, and try to get these uh, sports tournaments here, whether it's any baseball, basketball, softball, whatever? Correct. It's a little bit of both, really. We have some local folks we work with uh, and some partnerships that run some events already, so we partner with them. Uh, we do have a sports advisory council that I work with. Denise Rankins is on that here uh, from Southern. So we talk about things we can go and kind of look at. And then we do a lot of trade shows. I was actually in Milwaukee last week wow. um, visiting with, I think I visited with 25 different event organizers, uh, passing along what they are looking for, what facilities we have in Baton Rouge that could potentially host those events. Um, and then what all they need from our, from our side for support, uh, if it's hotels, if it's financial support, um, you know, pretty much anything they need to try to get them to come here. Again, oh. the goal is we get more people here in the Baton Rouge, raises our tax revenue and all that. Cool so. deal. Now, do you see that guy right there? If he gets to where he wants to get on one of the bowling teams, we've got the, what is it, the World Congress of Bowling coming it's, right here? Yeah, it's the, the U.S. Bowling Congress Open Championship. Wow. Uh, Right here to Baton Rouge. 150 days of bowling. Um, we actually just had a call with them last week, and they're at just right at 11,000 teams. Wow. Um, it'll start March. It'll go through July. So there will be a lot of activity around, around the city uh, everywhere. Um, it is a downtown event in, in, in the River Center, uh, but people will be staying all over the city, yeah, and they'll be traveling all, all over the place. So. Uh, so right now we're looking at 55,000 bowlers coming wow. in town. So uh, and, and it was so cool that you guys advertised in Las Vegas because that's where the tournament was yeah. this past year. And next year in uh, Las Vegas, and you had the Visit Baton Rouge uh, sign right there. Yeah, it was all about kind of trying to lay the groundwork so they know where to go, uh, where to look for hotels, where to look for things to do, um, and then kind of get familiar with it. Uh, this is, I believe, the fifth time we've hosted them. Yeah, uh, and they make uh, new bowling lanes there. too. It's like... Yeah. Brand new. Yeah, they'll they'll come into the River Center. They'll build 54 wow. state-of-the-art lanes, like better wow. than probably anything that's out there. Wow. Um, then they'll come in, they'll bowl, um, and then afterwards, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they take all the wood from the lanes and donate it to right. Habitat of Humanity, if I oh, remember I right, so they wow. can go and uh, do some of their some of their it. products oh, wow, projects they cool. do. So. Jason Suit, Visit Baton Rouge, Director of Sports Development. Thank you so much. Thanks yeah, for being thank a you. sponsor. He, this guy sponsors Southern University Athletics. Give it up for him, man. That's pretty awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Glad you. to be a part of it. Go Jags. Visit BatonRouge.com. Yep, that's it. You got it. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, dude. Back in a moment, more of the Overtime seri- uh, TV Series Show with uh, Athletic Director Roman Banks right after this time out on Pelican Sports TV.
choose your lucky symbol. Play beginner's luck. Win up to $5,000. Let's talk about bingo. Play Taco Bell Bingo. Win up to $50,000. Looking to triple your cash? Play Triple Seven Seven Seven. Top prize of $177,777. Play the new August games from the lottery. Ouch! You really hurt yourself. Did you know there's a health clinic right here on campus just for you and all Southern University employees? That's right. Care South Medical and Dental's SU Clinic is located in the nursing school building and is ready to give you the quality and compassionate care that Care South is known for. If you're at work and you're not feeling well, come see us. Care South cares. In a world where uncertainty reigns, one beacon of consistency emerges. Engineered for excellence and crafted with precision, it's more than a tool. It's a testament to your standards. Join the movement and elevate your expectations because your time, your comfort, and your standards matter. Discover the difference. The Anthony Lawrence Collection. All right, welcome back, everybody, as we continue with the Overtime Show uh, right here from TJ Ribs. We've got our Lady of the Lake Health right here, our Lady of the Lake family, uh, and we've got uh, Dr. Anthony Johnson. They call him Tony in the house. And, you hey. know, it's great that you're on because every time we have Curry, Curry Allen on, we have to deal with his agent and all that <laughs> stuff. I mean, this guy, you know, is so popular and all that. But sure. uh, definitely welcome to our Lady of the Lake, and uh, good to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Sports medicine physician, tell us what that's all about. So sports medicine, um, what we do is take care of the athletes. Um, this comprises many different things. It comprises sports injuries, but also um, while they're on campus, can comp comprise their um, chronic medical conditions if they come with any. So we try our best to um, be the best for the athletes and take care of them, and um, that's what our goal is with Our Lady of the Lake. Because the goal is to not only one, to get them back on the field, on the court uh, pretty quickly, but at the same time take care of them for the longevity uh, because you, you don't think of things like, for instance, soccer. Soccer has some of the most uh, concussions yes. than there is in almost any sport. For sure. Yeah, so that's, that's one of the big things we want to focus on is, you know, we want to return players as safe as possible but also as healthy as possible. Um, and sometimes that can be, you know, one of those things that can be somewhat controversial because players, you know, we want to get back right. to sport, but at the same time, we want them to be safe. Um, right. And then also the other important thing is, is that life goes on after sports. So we want to make sure that they're well taken care of while they're with us, but right. then as they go on to their next endeavor. Yeah, you could do what we used to do back in the day. Uh, Rodney uh, played college ball and concussions go out and play back in the game <laughs> sprain my ankle don't take my shoe off doc i'm going back in the game For can't sure. do that now oh no not especially at all. concussions not at all. Yes, you have to be good yes. and the rehab part when i messed my knee up bad the rehab part i thought was absolutely awesome yep. i almost be, i almost looked into that field for sure. And that's one of the things that I think this partnership will um, hope to provide is that recovery is one of the biggest things that you see um, a lot of the athletes, especially professional athletes, um, spending a lot of their money on and time is getting back after a tough game or after an injury. So I think that that's one of the big things is trying to provide um, the resources to, so that our athletes can get back and recover and be ready to go. So they need to make Our Lady of the Lake uh, medical, Our Lady of the Lake, uh, me, uh, of course, uh, health. Make sure that they look you up, Dr. Anthony Johnson. They yes. call him Tony, <laughs> sports medicine physician. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Go Jags. Well, thank you. Does, this, does Curry uh, play catch in the hallways and all that stuff? Is he always constantly moving around? He is. He is. Isn't he? It's hard to keep track of him. Man, that guy. <laughs> something else. Love him to death, though. Big guy. Of course, yes. one of the uh, former uh, Jaguar players. For sure, good. for sure. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Tony, we'll see you again, my man. All right, thank you. I thank you, brother. It. And I'm on a good name basis because he said Tony. His name is Dr. Anthony Johnson, yep. but I get to call him Tony, so that means he'll definitely hook us up, right? That's right, that's right. You are the man, <laughs> my brother. Thank you, my man. All right. All right, we come back. We've got more of the Overtime Show right here from TJ Ribs. Oh, the world-famous Ribs and the Shrimp Tastic for $19.99. Come get you some oh, yeah. right here at TJ Ribs on the K-910. Back in a moment on Pelican Sports TV.
You've got a lot on your to-do list, but none of it happens without your health. My blood pressure feels high right now, and I'm exhausted. The story of your health lives in the story of your life. At Our Lady of the Lake Health, we believe healing you means hearing you. I need to tell my doctor about this headache. So no matter where you are, no matter what's on your mind, we're ready to listen. The doctor will hear you now. Legendary Import Group, exceptional service and a rare collection, you'll discover the only distinctive auto for the legend in you. We, we are, are legendary. legendary. I am legendary. I'm team legendary. I am legendary. I am legendary. Now that's legendary. Stop by Legendary Import Group today where our team is honored to serve you. We are legendary. Legendary Import Group, the only place for legendary care. I need to try it first. Yeah. Are you interested in a college major with numerous career opportunities? Look no further than the Southern University College of Agricultural, Family, and Consumer Sciences. Agriculture is more than working on a farm. Our students are gaining hands-on experience and conducting cutting-edge research in the areas of agricultural sciences, family and consumer sciences, and urban forestry and natural resources. Our students also participate in internships and travel to national conferences. Our student organizations include students from diverse backgrounds with close bonds. These organizations provide our students with leadership and personal development skills needed to help them gain employment with top industry leaders. If you're not sure what you want to major in at Southern University, I encourage you to try Ag. For more information about the College of Agricultural, Family, and Consumer Sciences, visit our website at www.suagcenter.com or call 225-771-2242. At TJ Ribs, we are passionate about three things, great food, exceptional service, and Southern University sports. <laughs> Whether it's a watch party, tailgating event, or family meal, we're here to bring the party to you. Go Jags! All right, welcome back, everybody, right here, of course, to the uh, TJ Ribs on the Canaan I-10. It's the Overtime TV Series show right here. We've got the man. Uh, Coach Terrence Graves from Winston Salem State, right here in the house. How you doing, Coach? Doing well, Chris. How you doing? Oh, we doing well, my man. All right, McNeese State Cowboys. Uh, first of all, let me tell you this: it was pretty unbelievable. Three quarters domination on the on the offense, on the defense. The defense only allowed 272 yards of offense for the McNeese State Cowboys. That ranks Southern University 19th in the nation right now in the FCS. Uh, also pretty good against the pass. 180 uh, yards totally they got. That also ranks them high in the top 15 as well. So look good for the defense right there. Southern University's defense. Dog Day D is back. Yes, the Dog Day D is back. The guys did a tremendous job of uh, playing last Saturday. We still made some mistakes, but overall we played well enough defensively to win the football game. Okay, Jaguar Nation, I want you all to hear me real loud and proud right here because this is pretty imp impressive. I was impressed by this. After McNeese took the uh, lead and they got the momentum all on their side, I saw the football players all kneel in unity right there in front of Coach uh, Graves. They said a prayer. He, tried, he inspired them to come back in this. That shows unity on this football team. Y'all give it up for this guy because this guy is leading. 
fine young men on that football field. They all perfectly kneeled down. Everything was great. And this guy also gives you tough love. If you're not going to make practice, if you're on time, if you're not going to do this, go to class on time, he loves you, but he's going to suspend you for the first quarter of that game. And that's what shows tough love is. That's why I think we've got a great coach in Coach Terrence Graves. Thank you, Chris. Um, yeah, we got to be, you know, disciplined. Is, I got that from Coach Richardson. Um, of course, my parents started it off, and Coach Richardson finished it off. And he didn't care how good you were or how talented you were. You know, he was going, if you didn't do what you're supposed to do, you were going to sit down. And I learned that playing for him at Winston-Salem State. It only took me one time, <laughs> but um, I learned it. And, and I'm the same way with these guys. And, and at that time when I had to sit those guys, take a knee, basically I was trying to get them back refocused because what happened, um, at that time they started talking. Magnese was talking and started getting a little crazy. And so I had to reel those guys back in because it's not about talking, it's about playing the game. And I wanted them to stay focused. And, you know, when, as in life, ad adversity sets in, you can't just go off the handle. you got to stay the course. And, and they did, and they, they got, back in, uh, got back in line, and, and uh, hats off to them. But, you know, those guys played hard. You know, it's uh, missed opportunities. It's unfortunate. I uh, really thought we were going to win the football game. I feel like we were the better football team. Uh, we, we beat them all over the field except on the scoreboard, and then ultimately that's what that matters. I appreciate the head coach, the compliments that he gave me at the end of the game. Um, you know, I, I would have loved to have it been different, but, you know, that's that's the ball game. And uh, we learned from it. We corrected the mistakes. And we turned the page. Can't continue to dwell on it. We put it behind us. We locked in on Savannah State. That's right. And uh, let's, talk, let's talk about Savannah State. This is their first game. They're in the SIA uh, C conference, and, and they're uh, again go to Division Two, and they're a gritty football team. You've known the coach for a long, long time. You guys communicate, but you said not this week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Coach Kelton and I we've been friends for almost thirty years, and uh, we're real close. But we hadn't talked text or anything this week. I'm not gonna call him. And he's not gonna call me. And. Um, He's, going, he's doing a great job. He's going to have those guys fired up. He's going to have those guys ready to go because they get an opportunity to play up. And he's going to use all those things uh, to get those guys motivated. They're going, they're going to be fired up, ready to go. But like I told my team, I said, uh, forget what classification, forget who they are in terms of, uh, you know, being uh, SIEC school. We're going, we're going to respect all. We're not going to fear anybody. And we're going to, we're going to prepare and play to dominate the football game. This is a rich tradition, HBCU. They've been playing since 1915, and that did play some games in 1902, but officially is an independent in 1915, so this is a traditional football team. They're gonna come in. What do you expect from them? You said they're, you're, they're gonna do everything from uh, option or whatever. I mean, what was it? Uh, RPO, RPOs, option football. They're gonna throw. Oh, the ball. they will do. Op I hate it. Op yeah, a little Stay bit option. option. You know, a little uh, zone option. Um, we're gonna use the tight ends. It's gonna try to keep it close. Uh, defensively, they're gonna be four two five. Coach Kelton is a old eight man front guy. He's gonna load up the box to try to stop the run. He's gonna bring pressure. Uh, he's probably gonna have a few tricks in the kicking game. Um, so, you know, he's gonna he's gonna let his he gonna you know he's gonna let the guns fly. And uh, we're going to let the cannons fly. There you go. This is the sixth Pete Richardson Bayou Classic. Started in 1918. The only year we didn't do it was the spring year of 2021. We didn't have a home game. That's when Alcorn, of course, uh, forfeited. And we won that game, but we didn't play the game. So this is the uh, sixth meeting. Southern is 4-1 and one in the Pete Richardson Classic. What does the Pete Richardson Classic mean to you? It's very special to me. Um, it's no secret about my relationship with Coach Richardson. I tell him all the time, I'm going to tell the world I love him. I thank God for him. The man has, has taken the baton of life. Uh, when my father passed the baton to him and tra transitioned to glory, Coach Richardson became the, the anchor leg. And uh, I'm going to tell you, he promised my father that he was going to make something out of me or he was going to die trying. Oh, wow. And he sure did. And yep. I'm telling you, he's, 
I, it was a lot of days I was like, Coach, please get somebody else. <laughs> get on somebody else, please, Coach. But he's been, <laughs> I mean, everything. So, you know, my teammates, they ridicule me. They call me Pete Richardson Jr., <laughs> Terrence Richardson, you know, <laughs> to this day. Even the guys that played here at Southern, they always say, Coach, there's your son. So he, he smiles. and uh, But he, he's, he's great. He's been great to all of us. It's not just me. Coach loved every one of his players. Coach uh, gave us tough love, and he taught us how to be men. And uh, so to be able to play or to be able to coach and walk the path that he laid and to be able to coach in the game that's named after him, uh, it's nothing but a blessing for me. I mean, I'm elated uh, to be able to represent Southern University in the Coach Pete Richardson Classic. And I know, okay, so when I interviewed Coach when he was coach at Southern University up until 08, uh, he always uh, said individuals, individuals, always said individuals. So if I start interviewing you and you say individuals, <laughs> I know it's really rubbed off. <laughs> every once in a while I may say that. You say you individuals? Know, every <laughs> once in a while, but I think I'm getting that back because we used to always clown them about that. So I think I get it back sometimes. So, you know, the individuals, you know. And so. what player has got you down pat as far as mimicking you? Ooh. Do we have a player on the team? Uh, Chandler Whitfield. Chandler Whitfield, number oh, 19? Yes. The wide receiver? That's just one of them. But Chandler <laughs> Whitfield is, he's the one. He's the one. Every day is up with him. All right. It's going to be a fun one. 6 p.m. Uh, start time, A.W. Mumford Stadium. Of course, it'll be on HBCU Go. So you can watch that network. It'll be, of course, you can see it on the Go GoJackSports.com, the Jaguar Sports Network, of course. Also on the radio network on Q106.5 and WBOK in uh, New Orleans. Uh, look for them. And, again, those S-Club, those look nice. Those those uh, beautiful seats of the S-Club at the South End Zone look beautiful, real nice. Beautiful. We, uh, You're right on we, top of the action. We practice, we practice in the uh, stadium today because of the weather. And we just look down there, and it's, 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 it's really nice. Yeah, beautiful. They're beautiful. gorgeous. They're gorgeous. So you can catch that game. It's going to be big. We need the Jaguar Nation to show up. It's the white game. I want you to white it out, uh, A.W. Mumford. And then, of course, the Pete Richardson Classic ought to be a lot of fun. Coach, good luck in the uh, game this weekend. Thank you. Go Jags. Go Jags. We'll be back. We're not done with football. We'll talk with new offensive coordinator Mark Frederick right after we come back right here. This is the Overtime TV Series Show right here on Pelican Sports TV. In my Louisiana, the day starts at 4 a.m. In my Louisiana, every meal is a celebration. My Louisiana really makes me wonder. Ours is fast! With real-life small creatures! In my Louisiana, music is a way of life. My Louisiana is sheer magic. From sun up to sundown. Till sun up again. What will your Louisiana be? When you find your Louisiana, you feed your soul. Choose your lucky symbol. Play beginner's luck. Win up to $5,000. Let's Taco Bell Bingo. Play Taco Bell Bingo. Win up to $50,000. Looking to triple your cash? Play Triple Seven Seven Seven. Top prize of $177,777. Play the new August games from the lottery. Ouch! You really hurt yourself. Did you know there's a health clinic right here on campus just for you and all Southern University employees? That's right. Care South Medical and Dental's SU Clinic is located in the nursing school building and is ready to give you the quality and compassionate care that Care South is known for. If you're at work and you're not feeling well, come see us. Care South cares. In a world where uncertainty reigns, one beacon of consistency emerges. Engineered for excellence and crafted with precision, it's more than a tool, it's a testament to your standards. Join the movement and elevate your expectations because your time, your comfort, and your standards matter. Discover the difference. The Anthony Lawrence Collection What I love about T-Mobile is that just about anywhere you go, you're going to have coverage. Where I live is a rural area. The coverage has been awesome. 
Reliable coverage is super important for me, for my business. And after investing billions to light up our network from big cities to small towns, T-Mobile is America's largest and fastest 5G network. Now take charge of your phone upgrades with our best Go 5G plans and be upgrade ready as early as every year with Go 5G Next at T-Mobile. Hi, welcome back, everybody. The Overtime TV Series show right here uh, at uh, TJ Ribs. Oh, world famous uh, barbecue of ribs. Have you had any ribs yet, Coach? I just put my order in. You just got your order in. All right, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's talk about uh, this uh, past weekend, McNeese State. First of all, it's good to have you back. How does it feel to be back? You obviously you played here. You're assistant coach here. Now you're the uh, offensive coordinator. How does it feel to be participating in the Pete Richardson Classic? Man, that's awesome. You know, I used to watch it and, uh, you know, hear about it, but now I, I'm actually back back in the fold, so now I get a chance to be a part of it. That's yeah. an awesome um, experience. Guy that was big in your, in your life. Without a doubt, man. Uh, recruited me, changed my life under him and Coach Graves and Coach Orlando, so, and even Coach Miller was on that staff, so um, – had an awesome time playing for him, and now you know I got a chance to coach with him, and now I'm back, you know, trying to help Coach Graves right. win the championship. So let's talk about quarterback mm -hmm. first. Uh, Noah Baden, of course, uh, big guy, big young man, very athletic, mm -hmm. and he's a young guy. Again, he started a little bit at Grambling, played a few games at Grambling. This is his second straight start. Started in the Bayou Classic, started the game, uh, the first game on uh, Saturday against uh, McNeese. It's a growing pain that we're going to have to do. But the good news is, on that touchdown drive, he was three for four. It completed the first pass, then went three for three after that. So yeah. he looked very sharp on that. He's showing signs that he is going to be a very good quarterback. You know, he's young. The whole room is young. Yeah. Uh, none of those guys really have a lot of playing experience. But um, we're going to grow with them. We're going to do things that they can do. Uh, we plan to play at least two to three quarterbacks this week. It's not going to be a secret. Uh, the more they play, I think the better they're going to get. So uh, we're going to put a scheme in place for them to um, be successful. I'm not going to try to do something that they can't do or something they're not comfortable with. And uh, I think by establishing a run game, we're going to help them out. So that's what we're going to do. No question about that. And, you know, a lot of people don't understand. So with a young quarterback and a young offense, the toughest yeah. place to play is that red zone, or y'all call it the green zone. Right, right. Because you have, uh, say, that's 20-yard line, 20 yards on, and mm -hmm. you've got 10 yards for the end zone. That's 30 yards. you got 22 players, 11 for you and 11 for them. Mm -hmm. And as, like I say, it looks like flies on a Sunday barbecue. There's people running everywhere and all that stuff. And right. so for a quarterback, imagining having to look, it's hard to throw a go route. It's hard to throw this. A fade mm -hmm. is easy. But it is hard for a quarterback to get that. I think he's going to get that big time. I still see some in, in de 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 decisions that he was making. But, again, that comes in time. The more playing time he gets, the better he's right. going to get. Right, right. And we give him different uh, scenarios at practice. You know, we put him through red zone, third. Today was third down. And I think we was pretty solid on third down today. And we, when you get a chance to go against a defense like we face every day in practice, right. the game should be easy. So, uh very, very um, excited about getting this bad taste out, bad taste out of our mouth. And I know last year was a big, last two years was a problem. Third down, we're long. Third down, 11. Third down, and 12. Right. Third down, and 15. Third down, and 8. When you're third down and long like that, that makes it difficult big time. And obviously, you have to go and pass the football. Uh, so that's why we obviously want to be third down and short. I think y'all mm -hmm. did a decent job on third down conversion, especially in the first half and then the second half. Well, I think we were around 38%. Right. I want to be around 45% or better. Mm -hmm. um, anytime you can have third and medium or third and short, the playbook is open. When it's third and 14, third and 18, you don't really have a play call for that. You just try to get some of it back and uh, you know, give yourself a chance to uh, punt the ball. But the better we are on third down, the more efficient we are in the red zone or the green zone as we call it the better chances we'll have of winning the game. No question. Kobe Dillon, of course, mm -hmm. uh, had a good game. 14 carries, 52 yards on that. So uh, he looks strong in his run. He is a very strong runner, there's no doubt. Kendrick Rimes is a strong but also finesse runner. Right. I like his vision. He finds those lanes pretty well. And then I'd, we were right 
The stat crew at McNeese was wrong. They didn't know who scored the touchdown, but we did. Mm -hmm. Barry Remo got his first touchdown at Southern University. Barry Remo got his first touchdown, true freshman. Um, he earned it. He earned it. He got to start in front of a guy who was suspended for team rules. And uh, I told him it's his job to lose. So uh, we're going to have discipline. You're going to do it the way Coach Graves and the staff say do it, or you won't play. Right. And um, so them guys were suspended. Some of them were suspended a quarter. Some of them uh, were suspended a, um, for a half. But Barry Remo should play more. Uh, I'm not afraid to play a freshman. If you put the work in and you earn the, st um, the spot, then it's yours. I like your tight end play, too. Mm -hmm. Minor Jr. played very well in that tight end, uh, Dupree Folder. I, I like that, too. He was very active. That guy runs routes like a wide receiver. Right, man. That's two, that's two big access. Them are, are quarterback's best friends. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get them involved a little bit more, more vertical this week. You know, last week we was running some shallow stuff. They were playing some man, so you run a lot of crossing routes to try to free them guys up, and he found them a couple of times. So the more they're involved, the easier it is for the quarterback, and uh, they're a big, big asset to have. Coach, I like your receiving core. I mean, Chandler mm -hmm. Whitfield. I mean, Tyler Kirkwood. Those guys have been around. Uh, Quay Day, I mean, those guys are playing very good football right now. They're playing well, man. I wish we could have got them more involved. Uh, there's no knock on them. I think they they played well. There was assignment sound. We just got to find ways to get them the ball. We got to be more creative to help the quarterback out. You know, when, when, you know, when teams give you a different look and you kind of freeze up, you know, I got to do some stuff. I uh, got to pull some stuff out the back to help him out. So, and I think by the old line jailing together, playing more, we'll open up the run game. And when you can run the ball, you'll open up the passing game. So I thought we ran the ball decent, but not up to my liking. Um, I think we ran it like 42 times. I need more yards. I need more explosives. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, you know, we tried to correct some of those mistakes earlier this week in practice. I think we did. Came out the last two days and had a great, you know, great two days of practice. So obviously, what what did you thought about your offensive line? Trask was at the center spot. What mm -hmm. did you think about how the offensive line held up? Besides the one bot snap he had, the ball slipped out of his hand. I don't think we had any pre-snap pre uh, penalties, nope. and so that was a plus. You know, we moving in the right direction. Uh, I thought they played well. I don't know if we gave up a sack or not, but I thought that was I thought I thought they came out and played well. And then as the game went on, they got kind of sluggish, you know, with their technique and stuff. But we addressed that. I think Coach Nivens did a wonderful job of getting five guys to jail together. They're quick because we only had two returning uh, players, right. that's Trask and uh, Foster. So uh, he did a good job of scouting talent, recruiting it, bringing it in, and, you know, getting it developed. So I think, I think the future is bright for that group. All right, Coach, good luck in uh, this week's game against Savannah State. Yeah. All right, thank you, Coach. Coach Mark Frederick right here, back on the bluffs, of course, right here at Southern University. We'll come back, wrap things up. T.J. Ribs got something special for us, the shrimp tastic. We'll do that when we come back right here. It's the overtime show right here from T.J. Ribs on Acadian Night 10. Back in a moment on Pelican. <laughs> Are you interested in a college major with numerous career opportunities? Look no further than the Southern University College of Agricultural, Family, and Consumer Sciences. Agriculture is more than working on a farm. Our students are gaining hands-on experience and conducting cutting-edge research in the areas of agricultural sciences, family and consumer sciences, and urban forestry and natural resources. Our students also participate in internships and travel to national conferences. Our student organizations include students from diverse backgrounds with close bonds. These organizations provide our students with leadership and personal development skills needed to help them gain employment with top industry leaders. If you're not sure what you want to major in at Southern University, I encourage you to try Ag. For more information about the College of Agricultural, Family, and Consumer Sciences, visit our website at www.suagcenter.com or call 
right, welcome back, everybody. It's Overtime Series show right here from TJ Ribs, Acadia and I-10. We've got a young future Jaguar, maybe a dancing doll or, or cheerleader here with us. What is your name, sweetheart? Police. And how old are you? Five. Five years old? And you're going to be a dancing doll one day, maybe? Or, or a cheerleader? A cheerleader and basketball player. There you go. I like that. Basketball. Look at Coach Funches went crazy. You're going to draw a name? You got two uh, names to draw. And it's for two tickets for this Saturday's game at AW Mumford Stadium against Shake Savannah State little, from TJ Ribs. There you go. Pull it out, love. All right, grab one out. Let me hand to him. TJ White. TJ White. Congratulations, you are a winner. All right, one more. Get one more. All right, and then we've got Carolyn William. <laughs> Carolyn Williams in the house. There you go. That's two tickets right there uh, for uh, the game this weekend. All right, Jonah, what do we got for uh, TJ Ribs? I mean, you can't go with Southern without the shrimp tastic. It's uh, 20 shrimp, 19.95. Comes in two styles: the barbecue shrimp as well as the fried shrimp. So. Real good stuff. Come get in the house, guys. Look go Jags. Look at this. There you go. You did it right. All right, look at that. Look at that right there. Get a close-up of that, Marty. Isn't that like an unbelievable uh, dish right here? And it's so good. The shrimp are so big. Jurassic Park shrimp. They're awesome. You're going to love this. And it's a shrimp-tastic. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get ribs, too. I'll get ribs today. You know that. I'm going to get He's going to get a little bit of both. Yes, indeed. My comfort food. Well, Coach, we got a big weekend coming up this week. Big even, weekend. I wouldn't even take your mic from you, but no. Big weekend coming up. Let's first of all talk about the soccer game on Friday, Louisiana Christian, 6 p.m. inside A.W. Mumford Stadium. Yeah, Friday. Need everyone. We up there hanging out for the football game. Need everyone to come out and support the ladies. Coach Fundo already told you that they've been on the road a long time, so we need everyone to come out at 6 o'clock. Mumford Stadium, come out and support those, those ladies on the soccer field. And you made a good point, so if you're – Got your uh, RV and your tailgating. Come and watch that game. Then Saturday, watch uh, Southern University kick off at 6 p.m. with Savannah State. Uh, again, those uh, uh, S-Club Den. Uh, hey, well, S-Club going to be on fire, but the stadium going to be on fire. We yes, need everybody indeed. to come out and pat the place, and let's get this win. Coach Gray's them needs you all. Matt Neese, we showed up at Matt Neese now. Let's show up at home. Yeah, that's right. And then on Sunday, another uh, soccer game. This one's Troy State. That'll be a tough matchup. That's at 1 p.m. right there at AW Mumford 1 p.m. So we look at uh, soccer is Friday and Sunday, and we have football on tap for Saturday. All right. We'll be back two weeks from today. Doc right Snowden, here. happy birthday. Yep, happy birthday. Ike right, Thomas, not here. Happy birthday. All right. Glad Thanks. to see everyone in the house. Thanks to the crew over here at TJ Ribs as always. Happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday. Yep. All right. Cool deal. And happy birthday, Coach. Uh, good job as always. Glad to be back. All right, we will see you again here in two weeks right here. I see all my people over there. I'm trying to say hello to everybody. Katara and yep. I see Tracy Have over there. Have a great one. Everybody have a great one. Go Jag. Let's go. Turn it up. <laughs>